Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to define rules for matching linguistic patterns using the Spacey Matcher class. In this case we already have a Spacey Matcher object created as instructed in the previous video by loading a language model and providing its vocabulary to the Matcher object and now we're ready to define a pattern rule for matching linguistic structures in some body of annotated text. The pattern rules for Spacey Matcher are defined using Python lists and dictionaries. So in order to define a rule that matches several tokens we need to create a list first and then populate this list with dictionaries so that each dictionary stands for a single token. So in this case we're going to define a pattern that looks for pronouns and verbs that follow them and to do so we define a list with two dictionaries. In both cases the dictionary key consists of the string POS in capital letters which stands for part of speech and then the values correspond to the particular word classes that we want to match so pronoun and verb. So these dictionaries constitute the list items which are separated with a comma as usual whereas the key and value pairs in the dictionaries are separated by a colon. To add this rule to the matcher that we've already created we need to use the add method which takes two inputs. The first one is a name for the pattern which is just used to distinguish between multiple patterns because a single matcher can hold several patterns and the second argument is named patterns which takes a list of lists as input. So if you're wondering why we wrap the list under the variable pronoun underscore verb again in square brackets for input to the patterns argument this is simply because we need to provide a list of lists because this allows the matcher to contain several pattern rules under the same identifier or name for the pattern. To use the matcher and the pattern that it now contains to search some text we simply feed a spacey doc object to the matcher object and in this case we also provide the argument as underscore spans with the value true to the matcher object so that we get back spacey spans that is continuous sequences of token objects from the doc that match our pattern and then we store the result under the variable result and if I run this cell what we get back is a list of spacey spans matching our pattern. So if we examine the first item in the list under the index 0 we see that it consists of the pronoun it and the verb aimed and we also have some very useful attributes for this sequence such as start and end which give you the indices of these tokens in the doc object. You also have a label under the attribute label which gives you this weird sequence of numbers. This weird sequence of numbers is actually a spacey lexeme object which corresponds to an entry in the language model's vocabulary and we can use this lexeme to index the vocabulary as shown in this cell right here and to fetch the text attribute for this lexeme which gives us the name of the pattern that we defined for the pattern um, that we added to the matcher. This is useful for distinguishing between multiple patterns contained in a single matcher object. Spacey pattern rules can be made more flexible by using operators which are added to the dictionaries that correspond to individual tokens under the key OP. To illustrate the use of operators let's add another token into the pattern that we defined before and use the operator plus to allow this token to occur one or more times. So what we do here is we define another list named pronoun underscore aux 
underscore verb, which consists of a list with three dictionaries. And in the middle dictionary, which stands for the auxiliary between the pronoun and the verb, we also have the operator under the key OP, which has the value plus, indicating that this token and auxiliary can occur one or more times. And then we simply add this rule to the matcher under the name pronoun plus aux plus verb. And then we search the doc object under the variable doc for matches and request the results to be returned as spans. If we loop over the results and print out the name of the pattern and the sequence that matches the pattern, that is the spacey span object, then we'll see that this matcher now can match pronouns and auxiliaries and verbs regardless of how many auxiliaries there are between the pronoun and the verb. And this is due to having the operator plus included in the pattern rule. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions about spacey matchers, then feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks.